Welcome back. Our statement reads, suppose the field inside a large piece of dielectric is E naught, so that the electric displacement is D naught equal epsilon naught E naught plus P. A. Now a small spherical cavity is hollowed out of the material. Find the field at the center of the cavity in terms of E naught and P. Also find the displacement at the center of the cavity in terms of D naught and P. Assume that the polarization is frozen in so it doesn't change when the cavity is excavated. B. Do the same for a long needle-shaped cavity running parallel to P. C. Do the same for a thin wafer-shaped cavity perpendicular to P. Assume that the cavities are small enough that P, E0, and D0 are essentially uniform. Hint. Carving out a cavity is the same as superimposing an object of the same shape but opposite polarization. A quick look at the shapes involved. We have a sphere, a needle, and a wafer with the polarization pointing vertical. Alright, so for our solution, we'll use the hint. This is the same as adding a sphere of opposite polarization at the center. Therefore, E is equal to E0 minus E cavity, which is just what we found a couple questions ago, uh, negative P over 3 epsilon naught. So take the difference, and we see that we're left with E equals E naught plus P over 3 epsilon naught. Now the electric displacement, D, is equal to epsilon naught times E. Remember that the polarization is constant, and adding the two cancels them out, which mimics what we're physically trying to do in excavating a cavity. So the polarization wouldn't be there since the material isn't there. All right, so the electric displacement is D equal epsilon naught E. So we plug in the E that we just found, and we distribute the epsilon. We set the epsilon cancels in the polarization term, so we're left with epsilon naught E naught plus one-third P. Now recall that we were given E naught, but it was in terms of D naught and P originally in the question, so we had to solve for epsilon naught E naught, which is equal to D naught minus P, which is a term you see in the bracket there. So we have a minus P plus a third P, add them together and we get negative two thirds P. Therefore, our electric displacement with the cavity is D naught minus two thirds P. Now, similarly, we can apply this for B, which is the same as E naught minus the field of the plus or minus charges at the ends, which would be, that's all that's left with the cavity, but those are small and far away, so E naught and E are equivalent. Therefore, our electric displacement is just D naught minus P. Okay, so for part C, uh, this is the same as E naught minus the field of a parallel plate capacitor with the upper plate at sigma equal P. So we know that the parallel plate capacitor has a field of negative P over epsilon naught. So take the difference and we're left with E equals E naught plus P over epsilon naught. And we know that the electric displacement is D equal epsilon naught times E, substitute in the E field we just found, and distribute the epsilon naught. We're left with epsilon naught E naught plus P, since the epsilons cancel. And we know what epsilon naught E naught is from the original equation. And that this leaves us with D naught minus P plus P, so therefore D equals D naught.